I'll mark it right here. I found it. It's right here where yellow is. Oh, I found the EO. Hell yeah. We got two. We got two. All right. Tony, once you open up that, read off the code, and then I'll read off mine, and everybody meet up top. <laughs> no! No! He's shooting at me! Um, wait, did I pass it up? I think I passed it up. Shoot out. I don't know if y'all want to do some sl Oh, wait, it's right here. Oh, shoot. There we go. Okay, okay. I'm gonna read off the code. Alright. It is. Four. China. Six. Seven. Nose, nose, house, house. All right, fuck. Okay, I gotta cipher this. All right. Oh my god, I'm literally shaking. Okay, so, okay, so we got four. Uh, China. What the fuck is four? What the fuck is is China? Four China six. I don't know if that was a one. Shit. Okay. And and house and house, but I. I think house might be four. House is five. Oh, I'm so I can't believe I'm I'm so stupid. Four three seven seven. Wait, can you read that off? Oh, it's, it's it gave me a red a red error. Ah! <gasps> no! What happened? Kick for inactivity? What? No. Way. I was on the. F <laughs> ah! What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. So that little introduction was from my YouTube live stream I was doing trying to crack the stadium easter egg when the keypads were finally able to be used. I'm still kind of salty because I could have been a part of that first in the world squad with Geeky because we were all playing together the night before, we had all the steps down, but like I said, the keypads were just not working. And also, like you saw in the intro, there were so many games where we would just get stuck trying to crack the code, and it's super overwhelming sometimes. But in this video, I really want to give you like a no-nonsense, no BS guide that's really easy to use and follow along with some tips that I've used to complete the easter egg. But as of now, I've done it about four times. Three of them were for my subscribers and viewers on my YouTube live stream. And then at the end, I do want to give you a little bit of information on what myself and my friend Redacted are doing in terms of trying to solve the bunker easter egg. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now guys, first off, the mode you want to play to complete this easter egg is definitely plunder because of the redeploys. But I mean, if you're running with a solid squad of guys who can slay anything in sight and basically play like the Modern Warfare 2 No Russian mission, then Battle Royale isn't so bad but having those redeploys are very very useful and so is having a full entire team if possible you can still try and do it in solos but having as many friends online is definitely what you want to try and go for especially now that more players in the game are going to look for these key cards now the three key cards you want to find are the p216 the cl19 and the el21 all of which can only be found by ground loot you cannot find them by opening chests so it's kind of pointless to go for them now these key cards can spawn either in the parking garage inside of the stadium itself, the middle section or the concord level, and the very top which is the executive level, but usually most of the time these cards will spawn in the location of each corresponding room, although there are some times where you may find the executive level in the concord level, so do keep that in mind. Also another thing to note is the key cards despawn extremely fast, within about 5-10 to 10 minutes to be exact, so if you guys cannot find a key card within a little under 10 minutes of the game, Game, then back everybody out of the lobby search for another game that way you can get this done fast and efficiently now once you find a key card you want to take it to its corresponding room so the p216 room can be found at the lowest level of the parking garage by the back corner kind of behind this ramp the cl19 can be found right next to this bar area in the middle section and lastly the el21 room can be easily found because it's the only door that does not have a blue ribbon barrier blocking it after using the card to open up the room there's going to be a computer that you need to to interact with and this computer is going to read off a series of numbers and symbols which is actually one giant code for the entire game and you have to decipher the number behind that symbol now we identify the symbols kind of by a funny name which are house nose and chinese and again they are actually numbers between zero through eight now i do recommend writing the entire code down for each of the computers you activate so for example in the gameplay you're going to notice that the code i'm writing down is 94nh h1 n n and now that's done so you need to find a second key card and open up that room so after you do that save
same thing, write the code down. In the gameplay, you notice that the code I'm writing down is 9CN7H1NN. Okay, so now that we have at least two of the codes for two of the rooms, you don't need to find a third one because you can kind of guess the numbers for the main eight digit code. So on screen, I have a visual to kind of make it a little bit easier for you to decipher that eight digit code. So we need to find the number for that symbol. And the Chinese symbol is actually gonna be reverted into a four, and the house symbol is going to be a seven. So really the code we have now is 94N771NN, leaving the no symbol the only one we have to figure out a number for. And again, it's gonna be something between zero through eight, but all the numbers that we have used in this code, which are nine, four, seven, and one, can be crossed out. So go through process of elimination when deciphering what that symbol's number really is. Now you wanna make your way to the very top of the executive level, which is the third level. Find the access room and start to decipher the code. And again, go through the process of elimination. The N symbol can either be a two, a three, a five, a six, or an eight. In the gameplay, the number was three, so I replaced the N with three, and voila, the doors are open, leaving you and your team to reap the rewards of the Enigma blueprint for the CR-56 AMAX assault rifle. So this easter egg really isn't that hard to be honest, truly it's a matter of luck instead of skill. You gotta get lucky with finding the cards, hopefully they, don't, they won't despawn, hopefully a random player doesn't take the card and run off with it. So like I said, there's just a lot of luck that goes into completing this easter egg instead of skill. Also, as of now, the Easter egg is becoming more mainstream where a lot of players are kind of camping the keypad doors, which to me I think is pretty hilarious. But at the same time, I know it can be kind of aggravating, especially if you haven't done it yet. So I'm going to be doing live streams for a few more days to help you guys out with completing the Easter egg and get the Enigma Assault Rifle if you guys want to stop by for those. It's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, all in all, I had a really fun time completing this Easter egg. The first couple of days, I did lose a lot of sleep trying to complete it. Um, I think in total I only got maybe 10 hours of sleep if that because I really wanted to be a part of the first team to do this However, Infinity Ward had the keypads disabled for that very first day and a half So uh, I went to go to my parents for dinner and of course while I'm out a patch rolls out to fix the keypads And I was not a part of that first team to complete the Easter egg But oh well life does go on and like I said, I had a lot of fun doing this Easter egg but now going back to those live streams, I play with a buddy of mine named Redacted that I met with a bunch of other people trying to go for the Easter egg as well. And he had a theory that maybe if you use that same eight digit code that you get for completing the stadium Easter egg and enter it in bunker 11, then you can access that second part of the bunker. But as of now, we have not yet successfully tested it. We did, however, test completing the Easter egg and using the red access card to see if that will activate the bunker doors for the second part of the bunkers. But sadly, it did not work. So yeah, we're still trying out our other theory by entering in the same eight digit code from Stadium. I mean, I don't know of any other code in the game that it's gonna give you, so I mean, it's worth a shot. But so far, we've only been able to open up Bunker 11 easily because Redacted is amazing at speedrunning it, but we are getting very unlucky with uh, trying to get the stadium code now that everybody is camping the room, the cards despawn, so... Uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted if anything does come out about that. Also, one last thing before we go, tomorrow on the 10th of August, those mysterious boxes that were sent out by Activision to media personnel like Charlie Intel are going to be open, so I absolutely cannot wait to figure out what's inside of those. I think it's something Call of Duty 2020 related. I mean, we do have those in-game little messages that we've been receiving uh, over the past couple of days now, so I just kind of believe it is something for Black Ops Cold War if that is the title for the next Call of Duty game. So be sure you check back on the channel because I will be covering what's inside of those boxes. And with that, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Comment down below your thoughts. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you later.